The Ferrari F40 had no door handles, no radio and no carpets. The interior was held together with what looked like green bathroom sealant and the paint was so thin you could see the weave of the carbon fibre through it. All of this made it light, really light. It's only a passenger away from a Lotus Elise. The result is 0-60 in 3.2 seconds, and nothing you've seen here tonight can match that. The power comes from a twin-turbo V8. It's only a 3-litre, but my God, it goes! is that when you're on the overrun, just take your foot off the throttle, listen, at these huge bangs as it just dumps great wads of unburned fuel into the exhaust for fun! Oh, go back! And because there was hardly any weight, it just devours the corners, always hitting the apex. And when you feel the back end start to go... You can always catch it, because this lady is not for turning. Sure, it didn't have the amazing power or the sophistication of the McLaren, but the F40 feels lighter and more agile. It feels like a wasp buzzing round a rhinoceros. In fact, I think it's not only better than the McLaren, I think it's better than any of its modern rivals. Now, at this point, you probably think I've gone completely mad. You're almost certainly wondering how an 18-year-old car with see-through paint, no carpets and a top speed of only 201 could possibly be better than these two. Well, let me explain. In a modern supercar, every decision you make has to go through a kind of electronic committee. You put your foot down and the onboard computer says, Oh, no, hang on a minute, you've got 16 degrees of steering lock on there and too much throttle. We're going to have to get Kofi Annan over, maybe bring Bono in on it. See if we will work through some kind of compromise. It drives you nuts! In this, there is no electronic overlord. It doesn't even have power steering or traction control. I've got Francis Pym on the brakes. I've got John Knott on the steering. I've got Keith Joseph on the gearbox. Just a bunch of yes-men who do exactly what I tell them to do when I tell them to do it. Of course, a modern supercar has ceramic brakes and sticky, fat tyres, so you can brake later for corners and then go through them more quickly. Round a track, a modern supercar would be faster than this. But this is so much more fun, because it's just road, seat, arse, the end. The end.